What's going on, y'all? It's Ars, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of me and Digital Pro Sound's newest VST, Notonic. Now, this is something we've been working on for a really long time. I'm super excited to bring it to the table. So first, let's talk a little bit about what Notonic actually is. Simply put, Notonic is a chord-based rompler with 100 different preset chord sounds built into a minimalistic, beautiful box that you can just get instant inspiration right at your fingertips with the hit of one key on your keyboard. That was the goal, and we think we achieved that, so we can't wait to share that with you. So let's jump right into this VST and talk a little bit about what we have going on inside of Notonic. So I think the first thing people are gonna notice when they load up Notonic is the bright colors and the simplicity in the design. We wanted to streamline everything from the UI design to the effects and just make everything really easy to use. And that's what this whole VST is about. Instant inspiration, streamlining the workflow. If you're sitting in the session with an artist and you need to create a beat from scratch, this thing is gonna help you do it. And if we jump right into the UI design, you'll see a little bit of what I'm talking about. We have four effects here. We have a reverb knob, we have a cutoff knob, and that's gonna apply to your high pass and your low pass filters, which is right underneath the cutoff knob. We have LFO rate and LFO depth, and you have your standard ADSR knobs all over here on the right. On each side of the VST, you have volume indicators. So let me just hit a preset here. So if you hit a sound, you'll notice that the volume indicators light up, just pretty much helping you gauge where you're at levels wise. And you have your gain knob right up here at the top left corner. Now down here in this box is where things get really interesting and really fun. And you can kind of take the presets that we already created for you guys to whole new heights. We have this textures box right here and we have four textures loaded up for you guys to add onto any one of the presets that we have programmed inside of Notonic. So you have a record crackle texture and you can just turn the volume knob up there. And you can adjust the record crackle to where you want it to sit. You also have a rainforest knob. You can get some beautiful birds and ambiance in the background of that preset just to kind of open things up and take it outside of your bedroom into another world and just make things sound a lot more atmospheric. We have the city streets knob here. And we have the space knob. And this just gives you a, a weird kind of space sound to add on top of any one of the presets. Another really cool thing about the textures box down here at the bottom, say you like the textures and you just didn't feel like using any of the presets inside of Notonic. Say you already have a beat and you just like how the rainforest texture sound sounds in general and you wanted to add that texture to a beat you already created, you can just load up Notonic onto a track and you can just go to the higher octaves in your keyboard. So we're gonna just go up to the highest octaves in the keyboard. And if you hit any one of those keys on your keyboard at those higher octaves, it'll play the textures by itself without playing the preset sound. So right now I'm at the higher octaves in my keyboard. And if I hit any one of these keys, now we're only getting record crackle. If I hit any one of these keys, Now we're getting record crackle in rainforest, but it's just the textures. And that's something that's really cool if you just wanna use these textures on a beat you already created, or you're using another VST and you just like how the textures sound in Notonic. If you look up top here, right underneath Notonic, you have your presets window, and you can either click that box and just load up the preset that you're looking for, or you can hit the forward and back arrows and just scroll through the different presets.
really cool stuff. And another really cool thing is we made sure that we added what key each of these presets are in. So if you're adding no tonic onto an existing track already, and you just wanted to use one of these presets in a track that you already have created, you can just look up what key that track is in and just find the preset that works best for the key that that track is in. We felt like it was really important to not overload this thing with a whole bunch of effects, but instead pick the effects that's gonna help enhance and not just get you lost in effects, because that can happen. This thing is crafted to help you stay focused and get those beats done and get those beats sounding interesting. So you have the reverb knob here to take any one of the presets and kind of sit it in a different space in your track. So if we just take this preset here, We can raise the reverb. And it kind of just makes it more spacious sound and it sits it a little bit further back in your track. You can also put on a high pass filter and turn up the cutoff and take some of the bass out of that preset. The reason we added that knob is so that you can kind of add your own bass lines and, and kind of fit this into the track the way you want to fit it into the track without your bass lines clashing with any of the low end of the presets. We also added an LFO rate and depth knob so you can add a little bit of character to these presets. Like I said before, you can turn up the record crackle and just give it even more character. So that's basically it, super simple, but if you're having beat block, this is definitely something that's gonna help you spark a new level of creativity. And if you already have a melody and you don't really know where to take things with the melody, any one of these chords can help you take that beat to the next level. I think where this thing really shines is adding body and adding structure to your tracks. And it can kind of take a simple melody and some hard hitting drums and turn that simple melody and those hard hitting drums into an entire song. Because a lot of these presets just have so much atmosphere and so much body that you don't need to add a lot of things to the beat once you use them. So that's basically it, a quick walkthrough of Notonic. Just wanted to show you guys what's going on inside of Notonic and what cool things you can do in Notonic. But we appreciate all of the love and all of the support and thanks again.